Today, we're going to compare the cameras on the OnePlus 7 Pro versus the Honor 20 Pro. Both of them are budget friendly and they both offer a lot of cameras. Actually, the Honor 20 Pro does offer a macro lens, so that may be helpful for some of you guys. One thing I do see off of these screens is a little bit more background blur on the OnePlus 7 Pro, so I am digging that look. So this is a quick low light test of the front facing camera and I finally got the update from T-Mobile for my OnePlus 7 Pro. So I'm going to let you know if there's any improvements on that. But anyways, let's move on to the next section. Let's start off with the portrait mode first. And one thing I noticed right away is that on the OnePlus, I now have two options. I can actually go wider and not stick with that one tight focal length. But the Honor Pro still has the advantage with the zoom levels here because it can actually go up to 3x. So from my portrait mode experience, I still like the Honor Pro better just because I can just tap and just take a picture and it will do all the work. Whereas on the OnePlus, I would have to wait until that depth effect to turn green so I notice it will work. But I will give it to OnePlus where they actually pick up the objects way quicker, especially with the newer wider option. But with the old way, I would say it's better by a little bit, you would barely notice it. Now for nighttime, I don't really see an improvement here because there's still times when I would have to fiddle around too much to get the effect to work. And sometimes when I see it working and by the time I take the picture, the effect is gone. So I spent the time trying to get the effect to work and then it doesn't and then I'm seeing on a screen where the effect is going on and then it's turning off so at this point I just don't even want to take the picture anymore. So when I'm in dark places it feels like I'm still on the old version where it still struggles to pick up objects. In the end, I will say OnePlus did improve the portrait mode, especially giving you the option to get a wider shot. I do like the colors on the OnePlus better because it's saturated and vibrant. It's not to the point where it's like Samsung where everything looks super boosted, but just enough. But in terms of using portrait mode, the experience is much easier and better on Honor 20 Pro. Now for everyday situations, everything looks really similar side by side. One difference is the colors. If you look at the red bricks or the blue sky, it's slightly more vibrant and saturated on OnePlus. Now for HDR, I would give it to OnePlus, even though on wider shots, they both look similar. But when you zoom in to get that tighter shot, that's when you see the difference. Now for the camera UI, they both have their own strength and weaknesses. One thing I do like about the OnePlus is that when I want to zoom in, it's at the middle. So I can use my left or right hand comfortably and not even worry about reaching. On the Honor 20 Pro, to zoom in, I would have to press the buttons on the right side of the screen. So if I'm using on my left hand, it's gonna be hard to reach just to tap that button to zoom in. Now moving on to the Honor 20 Pro, one thing I do like about it is when I'm zooming in, it can quickly go into 5X. On the OnePlus, it can go up to 3X, and while I'm comparing these two cameras, I would always have to pinch to zoom in or try to dial in to get to 5X. And sometimes it's not even at 5X, it's at 4.5 or 4.9 or even 5.1. I think it's a smart choice to have the 5X there on the Honor or even Huawei phones because I feel like it's good enough where it feels like it's zoomed in, especially when you're in the city taking pictures of like buildings and such, because having two or three X zoom makes me think that I can just take two, three steps in front of me and get the same exact shot. Now moving on to low light, Right away, I'm gonna let you know that the Honor 20 Pro is the winner for me. Using the ultra wide angle lens doesn't really look good in the first place, but on the OnePlus, it's even worse. If you point it at any light, it gives off this smudgy slash lens flare look, which doesn't make the image any better. And for performance, I will give it to the Honor because it feels snappy when I take the picture. On the OnePlus, it's not overly sluggish, but I do notice a difference when I'm taking their pictures side by side. And when we zoom into 5X, I do realize a lot of the times the Honor does come out a bit sharper. Now for night mode, I do see the bigger difference on the OnePlus. I just think that on the Honor, it just takes a good picture already to the point where it doesn't need night mode. Because when I do use night mode on the Honor, it looks to me from my eyes that things are just overly sharpened. And the colors do change a little bit, but in the end, I don't think it's worth waiting 6 to 8 seconds to take a picture where it's almost the same. So you will see a big difference on the OnePlus, but in the end, I just think that the main camera on Honor already takes a good picture, so you don't really need it. Now moving on to video, they both can shoot 4K on all of their lenses. For daytime, I would pick the OnePlus because stabilization is way better on basically all the focal lengths. For the ultra wide angle lens, it looks really smooth like I'm almost on a gimbal, whereas on the Honor, when I'm taking a step, you can see the those tiny micro jitters. The colors are still more saturated on the OnePlus and HDR also seems to be better as well. One thing to note is that when I'm recording video on the OnePlus, on the screen it does not look like it's stabilized but when I'm watching through it and seeing it now, it is stabilized. And also the OnePlus can also shoot in 4K60 and the funny thing is when I'm shooting 4K60, it does look stabilized on the screen but when I'm watching through it, it's not even stabilized. And to kick it up a notch, OnePlus have the ultra steady option so you could even add more stabilization. 
For daytime and video, I think OnePlus has a lot of advantages over the Honor. Now for video and nighttime, OnePlus do lose an ultra wide angle lens because as you know, even during pictures, there's weird lens flare when you're pointing at something with a light source. The stabilization do seem to be more even now, but for HDR, I can clearly see more details inside that store, whereas on Honor, it, it's basically overblown. Also, there's a lot more micro jitters, so the image doesn't look as clean as well. Even though the OnePlus do have some micro jitters, it doesn't look as bad, but if you want more of a cleaner footage, then shoot in 4K60 even though it's not stabilized. And using the ultra steady mode is a huge indication that it uses the ultra wide angle lens to do so. So in the end, I do like to update on the OnePlus and there's a lot of things that are better on the OnePlus as well. On the honor side, the portrait mode slash aperture mode is the better experience and there's a lot more camera options and modes and you also get a macro lens. So let me know what you guys think of which one you think is the better choice. If you are interested in any of these products, I do have links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like, subscribe, hit the bell, and thanks for watching.